The movie begins with a close-up shot of an old man. As the camera zooms out, we see that he's listening to the weather forecast on the radio. A young girl takes a shift for her friend and comes to nurse the old man. She finds it strange that the door is left unlocked. When she goes inside, she finds the place a wreck. She tries looking for the man and discovers that the wheelchair is empty. Suddenly the man appears and he repeatedly hits her with a cylinder and finishes her off. He is then seen screaming through the window as it thunders, appearing to signal to all the old people to kill everyone in the town. Next, we see Ella driving with her children to her hometown as summer is ending. She doesn't have a good relationship with her daughter Laura as she blames her for leaving her father. When Ella gets a phone call, she hands the phone over to her son Noah. It is Ella's sister Sana, who is getting married soon. The kids are very excited about the wedding and Noah is even more excited to meet his father and grandfather. Ella divorced her ex-husband Lucas a few years back. After splitting up, Ella moved to the city and Lucas stayed back and developed a relationship with Kim who is a nurse at the local retirement home. Soon, Ella and the kids reach Sana's home and they are happy to see each other after such a long time. It turns out Ella's father is now living in a retirement home, she is shocked to hear this as she thought he was living at home. Ella hasn't spoken with her father for some time as he was against her getting a divorce from Lucas. The sisters decide to go and pick up their father so he can be a part of Sana's wedding celebrations. They leave the house to go to Solheim's retirement home taking Noah. They ask Laura too but she decides to stay back with a boy called Alex aflame from the past. On the way they meet Lucas. Noah is extremely happy to see his father but clearly there is tension between him and his ex-wife. Noah notices that there seems to be a lot of old people around and when they get to the retirement home, they are shocked by the state of the place. The home is a complete mess and doesn't look like it is being taken care of. They finally find Kim there and she takes them to go and see their father. She tells them that the home is understaffed and to stop the old people from hurting themselves, they are tied to their beds which Ella finds very strange. When Ella sees her father, she tries talking to him but he doesn't say anything and just cries. When they are leaving, an old man looks at Noah with evil eyes through the window. Later, we see Laura arriving with Alex at an island where he shows her a very old monument to remind people to look after the elderly. If they don't, the town will be cursed and they will all have to pay. When Alex tells her that he will soon be moving to the city, she smiles and they share a kiss. Next we see the wedding ceremony beginning. Noah and Laura try and get their parents to dance together. Ella and Lucas were madly in love with each other when they were young. Ella wanted a life in the city whereas Lucas wanted to stay in the town and they eventually separated. Meanwhile while the wedding is going on, we see old people all over the town looking on enviously with a deranged look about them. In the next scene, a nurse hears a scream down in the basement, when she goes down there, she is shocked to see a old lady biting into a live cable, she appears to enjoy herself being electrocuted. When a nurse upstairs tells all the elderly people to go to sleep, the lady is not happy and they get into a struggle. The nurse pushes her on the floor, upon seeing this, the rest of the old people attack the nurse and finishes him off. When the nurse comes back upstairs from the basement, she is also attacked and finished off. Meanwhile, the wedding is now over and everyone starts to leave. We see Lucas staring at Ella when Kim shouts at him to leave. Sana and Malik then go to a cabin to enjoy their first night as a married couple. We see the old man from the retirement home arrive at their cabin, he then puts a heavy object in a sock and lies in wait. When Lucas and Kim arrive back home, they see an old man from the retirement home just standing there, they are devastated to see that their whole town is up in flames. While Sana and Malik are getting it on, they are suddenly attacked by the old man and killed. Sana makes a run for it but falls down the stairs, the old man catches up with her and kills her. Next, Ella hears something downstairs, she goes to have a look and finds her daughter there, she tells them that there are old people outside the house and she is very scared. She goes outside and is met by a man who tears a piece of paper from a book and hands it over thinking that it is his daughter Hannah. She goes back inside and asks Laura to stay inside, she then goes to check on Sana and Malik at the cabin. When she gets there, she sees through the curtains that they both have been killed. Ella is absolutely devastated and starts crying holding her sister in her arms. Suddenly she sees an old woman in Sana's wedding dress holding a knife. 
A man appears behind and attacks her, she manages to escape and makes a run for it. She has no choice and jumps out of the window. While running back to the house, she comes across Lucas and Kim and breaks down by what has happened. They manage to get back in the house while a group of old people follow. Back inside, she is horrified when she finds that her father and Noah are not there. She then picks up a gun and goes outside although Lucas tries to stop her. Desperate to find her son, she sees her father outside and asks where he is. She attacks him and they both fall to the ground. Meanwhile back in the house, some of the old people have got in. Kim is suddenly confronted by an old man, just as he is going towards her. She tells them that she has never harmed them and points towards Laura, suggesting they should attack her instead. Laura screams and makes a run for it. Lucas and Ella hear her screams and quickly make their way back into the house. Upon entering, Lucas asks Kim where Laura is and she tells him that he should not have left her alone and that Laura and is not her daughter. Ella hears a scream from the kitchen and makes her way there, her and Lucas finish off two zombies on the way. When Ella opens the door to the kitchen, she sees the old man there who is just about to attack her daughter. When she tries to shoot him, he throws something at her knocking her unconscious. Next, we see Lucas and the old man get into a fight and the old man gets the upper hand. Lore tries to help but is quickly knocked down. Just as Lucas is about to be finished off, Ella gets up and hits the old man with a plant pot over his head. Lucas hugs Ella while Kim watches on. They then quickly tie the old man up and ask him where Noah is. The man doesn't answer and responds by spitting in his face. Lucas tries to remain calm and asks him again while Ella is losing her patience. Lucas cries and begs the man to tell him where his son is and tells him that they have done no harm to him. Ella loses it and picks up a fork and attacks him, when this doesn't work, she picks up a gun and is just about to pull the trigger when the man looks towards the door. When they turn around, they find Noah standing there and are so relieved he is still alive. Noah tells Ella that his grandfather had told him to hide in the attic before joining the others outside. He tells them that he also spoke but then begins to struggle to breathe. Laura quickly brings his inhaler over and he starts to calm down. Ella tells the family it would be better for them to stay the night in the house and try to leave in the morning, all the time, we see Kim looking at them in jealousy and she exchanges sinister glances with the old man. Lucas picks up Noah and takes him to the living room while old people are seen surrounding the house. Later, we see Ella's dad sneaking into Noah's room and just when he is about to attack him with a hammer, Laura gets up breathing frantically realizing it was just a dream. Ella goes to the bathroom and Kim follows her. Kim tells Ella that she never had a problem with old people and it all started when they came to town. She tells her that she is to blame and Lucas was left all alone when she left, she has been looking after him ever since. When they both leave, Kim opens the front door, Ella tries to close it but she is suddenly hit over the head by Kim. She then lies her outside the house and closes the door. When Ella wakes up she tries desperately banging on the door to get inside, she sees her father and a group of old people approaching. Lucas and Laura arrive and hear Ella screaming outside, Kim tries to swallow the key and Lucas manages to get it off her and open the door. Ella's body slumps to the floor and just when they are going to pull her in, Lucas is stabbed and she is suddenly pulled back outside. While watching all this unfold in front of her, Kim realizes that what she has done and is unable to live with herself. We see her going upstairs and jumping out of the window. The old people are distracted by her and they savagely finish her off. While this is going on, somehow Ella manages to get back inside but the old people also manage to get in, the family have no choice but to run for their lives. Lucas is severely wounded and is losing blood fast. They manage to get into another room and lock the door behind them, unfortunately, Lucas dies while in Ella's arms. Laura sees that the old people are pouring gasoline all over the house and set it alight. When fire spreads from underneath the door, Laura tries to get her mother's attention while she is in shock. She tells her mother that Noah told her about a secret tunnel that leads from the house. They manage to find the tunnel underneath the rug and quickly make their way out, we see Laura picking up a gun as they leave. They escape just in time as the old people make their way into the room. They run frantically through the underground tunnel, Unfortunately, Ella gets stuck and is caught. We see her shouting out to her children that she loves them while she is finished off by the old people. 
Laura and Noah both reach the cottage and she contacts Alex on her phone. He tells her a place to meet and to be careful as the old deranged people are everywhere. Laura and Noah are both devastated at losing their mom and walk out of the cottage, they are confronted by their grandfather. She points the gun at him but is suddenly attacked by the leader. We see Noah sitting by the door crying while her grandfather stands there quietly. Just when she thinks that she is about to be killed, she closes her eyes and begins singing an old family song and Noah joins in. This breaks the curse from their granddad and he shoots the old leader dead. We then see the children being comforted by their granddad who tells them that he will never hurt them as he loves them very much. The three then run towards the beach where Alex awaits them on a boat. They all manage to get in and drive off. When they look back, they see old people on the beach, they realize that soon all the people in that area will be killed off and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.